natural numbers exercise 1.1 and we will do first three questions of this exercise so watch and listen to the video very carefully note down the solutions but later on make sure to practice doing the questions yourselves so let's get started so question number 1 is using appropriate properties find the solution of this value of this and find the value of this so what are those properties commutative property associative property distributive property so let's see use the properties to make our calculations easier and faster so number 1 is Minus two by three into three by five plus five by two minus three by five into one by six. So you you look for signs of plus and minus. These are the signs which make the expression. I mean, a group of terms. So you can say the terms are formed by signs minus. Now this is one term. After plus, this five by two is another term, and this minus this is the third term. Though the terms are all like terms because there is no variable in this okay so now we have to look for something uh, which is common in two terms you see here is 3 by 5 and here is 3 by 5 so i must look for way to bring these two terms together and another thing is i will what i will do is like a into b is equal to b into a what we call it commutative property So I will write this as minus two by three into three by five as minus three by five into two by three. There is no difference because three into two is equal to six and two into three is equal to six. This is known as commutative property. Another thing I will do the regrouping of this plus five by two will come here and minus three by five into one by six will come here. So now I have these two terms together and minus three by five is common. So I take out minus three by five outside. I put the bracket here. I am left with two by three, and plus because minus three by five has come out. So plus one by six and plus five by two is this. I take LCM of three and six, which is six. So three to the six, two to the four, six one the six, one into one is one. So four plus one by six. This simplifies to minus three by five into. I open the bracket. 4 plus 1 is 5, so 5 by 6 plus 5 by 2. This one. Now 5 and 5 cancel out. 3 when the 3, 3 to the 6. This sign minus is here, so this becomes minus. This term becomes minus 1 by 2, so minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2. Now the denominators are same. So what I can do is I can do arithmetically addition of the numerators. So I put the common line here. 2. Minus one plus five, five minus one is four, so four by two is equal to two. Now, my suggestion is you start doing this calculation, do it on your own without using this property, and then later on do this same sum using the commutative and distributive property, and you'll yourself see that it saves a lot of time and the trouble in arriving at the result. Let's see part number two. So part number two is two by five into minus three by seven minus one by six into three by two plus one by fourteen into two by five. Now you see here two by five, and here also we have two by five. So what I will do is I will bring this term here, okay, in this place. So two by five into minus three by seven plus one by fourteen into two by five plus one by fourteen into two by five. It comes here. And minus one by six into three by two, it comes here. Regrouping. So we have just done the regrouping of the terms. Now two by five here, two by five here, two by five common into bracket close, and minus three by seven is left here, and plus one by fourteen is left here, minus one by six into three by two. So three one the three, three to the six. So one by two into one by two, it becomes minus one by four, which is here. Minus one by four, this one, and this fourteen is the LCM of seven and fourteen. So I write seven fourteen here, seven to the fourteen, 
2 3 the 6 minus 6 plus 14 1 the 14 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 okay so this becomes 2 by 5 into 1 minus 6 is minus 5 upon 14 minus 1 by 4 so 5 and 5 cancel out 2 1 the 2 2 7 the 14 minus sign is still here so this becomes minus 1 by 7 and this minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 again 7 and 4 LCM is 28 28 so 7 for the 28 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 4 7 the 28 so 7 into 1 is 7 and minus sign is here so minus 7 so minus 4 minus 7 minus 11 upon 28 is the answer now let's do question number 2 question number 2 is write the additive inverse of the following so much so dear students before attempting to solve this question i suggest that you memorize this definition or the concept of the additive inverse we know that the sum of a rational number and its additive inverse is always zero so this means i have to find the additive inverse of 2 by 8 so 2 by 8 plus the additive inverse of 2 by 8 is equal to zero so the additive inverse of 2 by 8 will be zero remains here so 2 by 8 goes to the right hand side and the sign changes plus becomes minus minus 2 by 8 so 0 minus 2 by 8 is equal to minus 2 by 8 and minus 2 by 8 is the additive inverse of 2 by 8 again we write the same concept before attempting to solve the question i will not repeat it but i have written it in uh, every part of the question so that uh, you are uh, you can memorize this concept so we know that the sum of our rational number and its additive inverse is always zero now minus 5 by 9 is equal to we write it in the standard form which is like this we put the minus sign here along with this line minus 5 upon 9 so minus 5 upon 9 plus the additive inverse is equal to 0 or the additive inverse of minus 5 by 9 is equal to 0 and is, is equal to 0 plus and this becomes minus becomes plus so plus 5 by 9 so 0 plus 5 by 9 is equal to 5 by 9 which is the additive inverse of minus 5 by 9 similarly now minus 6 upon 5 minus 5 so minus 6 upon minus 5 is equal to 6 upon 5 because minus sign from the numerator cancels the minus sign on the denominator so 6 upon 5 plus the additive inverse of 0 uh, of the uh, uh, plus the add additive inverse is equal to 0 or the additive inverse of 6 upon 5 is equal to 0 minus 6 upon 5 comes on the right hand side and plus sign becomes negative so 0 minus 6 upon 5 is equal to minus 6 upon 5 so 2 upon minus 9 can be written as in the standard form minus 2 upon 9 so minus 2 upon 9 plus its additive inverse is equal to 0 or the additive inverse of minus 2 upon 9 is equal to 0 minus 2 upon 9 comes here on the right hand side becomes plus plus 2 upon 9 so 0 plus 2 upon 9 is equal to 2 upon 9 5 again 19 upon minus 6 is equal to minus 19 upon 6 so minus 19 upon oh it was 6 here sorry uh, typing mistake okay so typing mistake 19 upon 6 so or the additive inverse of minus 19 upon 6 is equal to 0 minus 19 upon 6 comes here becomes positive so 19 upon 6 is equal to 0 plus 19 upon 6 is equal to 19 upon 6 that is the additive inverse of minus 19 upon 6 question number 3 question number 3 we will do by two methods so verify that minus minus x is equal to x for so and so so part 1 given x is equal to 11 upon 15 so the additive inverse of x is equal to minus x we know that additive inverse is obtained by changing the sign of the number so x is equal to minus x is equal to minus 11 upon 15 we know that the sum of a rational number and its additive inverse is always zero same concept which we used in number 2 question so 11 upon 15 plus within bracket minus 11 upon 15 is equal to 0 0 
or 11 upon 15 is equal to now this section comes to the right hand side and it is plus here it becomes negative so negative negative 11 upon 15 so 11 upon 15 is x which is this x and minus minus x minus minus x thus x is equal to minus minus x proved part 2 x given x is equal to minus 13 upon 17 so the additive inverse of x is equal to minus x is equal to minus bracket minus 13 upon 17 again we write the same statement that the sum of a rational number and its additive inverse is always zero so minus 13 upon 7 plus big bracket minus small bracket minus 13 upon 17 bracket close is equal to zero or minus 13 upon 17 remains here is equal to this whole section with big, big bracket comes on the right hand side and plus sign changes to negative here so now you see students this is x and this is x is equal to minus 13 upon 17 so this is x this minus sign is this this minus sign is second one is this which is inside and x is already with the minus sign so this is x not with the negative sign negative sign is this additional one so x is minus 13 upon 17 so this means x is equal to minus minus x now we can also solve this question by second method do the practice with both the methods and choose whichever method suits you the, suits you the best so part one we can do like this we have to verify that x is equal to minus within bracket minus x we are given that x is equal to 11 upon 15 so minus x is equal to minus 11 upon 15 because we put the sign minus on both the sides and minus minus x second minus sign we put so minus minus 11 upon 15 is equal to 11 upon 15 because minus into minus is equal to plus so this minus and this minus get cancelled out now this 11 upon 15 is equal to x which is the right hand side this one so thus minus minus x is equal to x so minus minus x from here it comes up to here is equal to x so they are equal second part we have to verify x is equal to minus minus x so we are given that x is equal to minus 13 upon 17 so minus x is equal to minus bracket close minus 13 upon 17 so minus minus cancel out it becomes positive 13 upon 17 and minus minus x is equal to minus 13 upon 17 because this is minus minus this is minus x so minus minus x which becomes minus 13 upon x which is equal to x which is equal to x this one so thus minus minus x is equal to x this way also we can verify this statement that minus minus x is equal to x so we can do this question by either of the two methods so dear students these were the first three questions of exercise 1.3 so keep studying hard regularly and with discipline and goodbye till the next video thank you very much